unconditional love uh, and uh, that's Jao Cure with uh, Felicia. We love that one. Nice and mellow. Well, uh, guess who popped in to see me and to say hello? Well, it is none other than uh, the woman who started Britain Scott Reggae. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Shirlene, Shirlene Braithwaite. Yes, Happy New Year to you. Happy Sandra. New Year. Great. And all the listeners. Definitely. Yes. So, how was your um, New Year's and Christmas? Oh, it's busy. I've been down in Leicester, so it's been nice to be around the family mm -hmm. and everybody. Um, yes, a couple of hospital visits with my grandmother. She's not been well. But apart from that, it's been great. Yeah, seeing everybody and okay well do you know what we do you know what we have well a dot cotton of, <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> of eastenders fame also did a britain scott reggae listen to this Reggae, <laughs> so say so big up Britain's got reggae. Come on, it's gonna be wicked. Got reggae. I can't learn my lines yet. Big up, I don't want to talk about big up. Britain's got reggae. Britain's got reggae. It's gonna be or wicked. Reggae. reggae. It's gonna be wicked. Reggae. It's gonna be big up Britain's got reggae. It's gonna be wicked. Oh, it's gonna be wicked. <laughs> <laughs> right, take my picture. Ready? Yeah. Big up. Debbie moves. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Big up. Britain's got reggae. It's going to be going to be wicked. <laughs> There you go. Oh, that sounded like fun. Oh, she's a laugh a minute. I wish I recorded all of it before because I swear to God, she's so funny. You know, yeah. everything I said, she had a joke for it. She oh. just so, she's so bright as a button. She's 91. Wow. You won't believe it. Like, she's mm -hmm. so bright and she's just such a laugh. And very welcoming, you know. She went, you know, stuck up or anything. She was up for it and, you know, spoke to us and really lovely lady. That was great. Yeah. That's great. So, what's been happening and what have you got planned? I know two questions in one. Yeah. You should never ask, but. Well, um, we had Ophelia last year, 2017 one. So in August, we all went to Roger Tom Sun Splash again. Yeah. That's the um, winner's prize for winning Britain's Got Reggae. Oh, right, okay. Where they get to perform in front of 20,000 people, at Ooh. least 20,000. So it's a fantastic opportunity. Um, all the stars are there. You know, it's a fantastic festival. It's, you know, you've got... You're just rubbing stars with all the stuff, mm -hmm. rubbing shoulders with all the stars. You might be sitting down eating in the area, and you'll see Chronics walk around the corner. That's what wow. happened to me. <laughs> so, so like, you know, I nearly choked on my food. You know, it's just so amazing mm -hmm. the way they put it together. Really nice vibe and the talent and the different things you have there. You have yoga, you have meditation. It's just a fantastic area. So if you haven't been, it's mm. a place to go. Wonderful. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. I think it's the largest in Europe. The largest. Reggae, reggae festival. festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. superb. Yeah. So wh where are you taking Britain's Got Reggae in 2019? Well, we've got our fourth series and we've got auditions. We're in six cities wow. this year, so if I can get it right. On the 16th of February, we're in Manchester and we're at the Mor Morgan's Bar. On the 19th of February, we're at Hoot and Nanny. Wow. I'm in London. On the 23rd of February, we're at Sadaka in Sheffield. Mm -hmm. On the 24th of February we're in Birmingham at RJJZ Cafe, Jazz Club Cafe Bar. On the 26th of February we're at Norwich, we're at Butcher Boy Pub. It's a new pub, Irish mm -hmm. pub, it's great. And on the 2nd of March we're in Bristol wow. at the Malcolm X Centre. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're doing a bit of a tour this year yeah. and really trying to reach out to those reggae artists that may be hiding or <laughs> don't know about us yet. We've still mm -hmm. got a lot of work to do to get people to know about us. So yeah, just trying to find artists. We've got a lot of um, people entering already, especially yeah. for Manchester. Mm -hmm. so that's great to see. So yeah, it's that's just all about promotion now. Yeah. And um, this year, um, before previously, it's been self-funded. Um, I had an accident, so part of my accident money, I, I threw into invested in myself yeah. into Britain's Got Reggae, which is all gone now. So hopefully, we'll be funded by the Arts Council this year. Oh, That's, fingers crossed! Fingers crossed. So we're yeah. just waiting now. So we've got a couple more weeks to wait to see if that's successful. It's been fantastic if it is, because we do need the support mm -hmm. and the help. 
and now that um, reggae is now an international Absolutely. cultural treasure, <laughs> so we're hoping more will be um, mm -hmm. done for reggae. It will be more moving to the mainstream media, you know, to see more of it on TV, more of it on radio stations, you know, so our young children can start to embrace it and pick it up like they do the other genres. Yes, yeah. yeah. So a busy year in store for you. Yeah. A busy couple of months, actually. Yeah, we have it's going to start soon again. I know yeah. we are just finished and it's like you're starting again straight away. So what's, do you have the date already for the final competition this year? Yeah, we're definitely awesome. all the dates. Are, we've got all the dates for the heats, for, mm -hmm. the, for the auditions. And the final is going to be 24th of August. And that's going to be at the Port of Green in West London. It's wonderful. Outside, as usual. We always have the final outside. Mm -hmm. So what sort of numbers in terms of um, nominations? People putting themselves forward. Um, it could be between 70 and 100. Mm -hmm. um, you can only have like 25 auditions because it's all live. Yeah. So we have five heats or four heats and five heats. And um, um, it's live band. So that's what how we fit it in. Yeah. So we really have to whittle it down. It's on points. And the judges put, um, score them out of five for five categories. Mm -hmm. So it's their song choice, their um, audience interaction, their um, vocal ability, their appearance, and there's one more. I can't remember, but mm -hmm. there's one more. Yeah. So they get five points out of that, and that's how it goes through. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the artist has to be sort of all round and look yeah. at all aspects of the artistry really to get through you can have the amazing voice in the world but if you're not dressed the part you're going to lose points yeah. and like if you're an um, artist you have to hit all points mm -hmm. i think you can't just you have to look good you know what i mean sing good interact with the audience people are looking for those qualities yeah yeah and uh, do the artists have to um, be songwriters themselves? Is it? Yeah. Um, yes. Um, you know, we're not looking for. We want to sort of keep the authenticity. So we're looking for p artists that write their mm -hmm. own songs. And I think a lot of reggae artists they're not really cover songs. You know, but people do covers of Bob Marley and whatever. Mm -hmm. But the majority do like to write. It's an expressive yeah. genre. They want to talk about their struggles they want to talk about their history they want to talk about what they're going through at the moment so it's the music is generally real so yeah yeah, yeah. so it sounds absolutely awesome mm. and then another busy year for you yes yeah, yes yeah. yeah so uh, who have you met recently that you you didn't meet before and you were pleased recently mm -hmm. um who have i met recently well um a few couple of months ago mm. well not me i got one. Um, recently. Did I see you on social media pictures oh, with everybody? Oh, I see you all like that. I see, um, I've seen, I've got pictures. I saw a couple of months ago, I met Jazzy B, um, um, I'm, what's his name, Judith Jacob. Um, there's loads, I have to look on my Instagram to remember them all. <laughs> I've got loads, of, I meet loads of people all the time. Like I have, if you look on my Instagram, there's a lot of, stars um and people i have met yeah. um and have photos with i've got people like julian marley endorsing britain's got reggae yeah. we've got johnny clark we've got um morgan heritage the back of pyramid eka mouse so we've got quite a few um people endorsing britain's got reggae of course i've met them mm -hmm. and um, rubbed shoulders with them you know and they've encouraged us i've had some good things to say about britain's got reggae and willing to you know, support us by endorsing us. Yeah, brilliant. So, ten years from now, where would you like Britain Scott Reggae to be? On TV, around the world. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know where, TV show. where it's where it's supposed to be. Um, yeah. you know, like you have all these shows. I think if Reggae got on TV, I really think that would be a smasher. I think. That Do you mean like be... a talent show, like yeah, um, like um, X Factor? Yeah, or yeah, like yeah. I mean, even if it's not just Reggae on the TV, I yeah. feel that it will break you know loads of people will tune into that yeah. you know people love reggae all the world that's why it's been given yeah, in, the recognized as an international mm -hmm. cultural treasure yeah. you know and it, i don't know why they took so long because <laughs> what they said it is it's been been like that for years yeah and like reggae music has hit it's come from little jamaica and it's hit and it's gone worldwide and like carla had an interview the other day and he was saying that like you know reggae is hit the effect of the whole world without having no military bases it's nothing it's just through their direct culture yeah they haven't got military bases like it's under force like they're running to these different countries like we can do in the english you know <laughs> <laughs> in the uk that like the english do but like i think it's fantastic you know everyone's around the world reggae is massive worldwide mm. you know people love it all over so 
fantastic. I probably asked you this before because we have chatted before, but what got you into this in the first place? Well, the reason why I started it is like, particularly coming from the Midlands, like I've run events, I've run the City Link Up event, which is a multi genre showcase. That was my baby from the start, what I started off here in Leicester. And we've been in Camden, was in Camden for like four years, but we started like over five years ago in Leicester. So I was in Leicester doing the circuit here. Um, so when I got to Camden, you know, the Leicester people and the surrounding cities, I was sort of the gateway. Mm -hmm. So they had a, you know, they could get into um, Camden. It's very difficult if you're from outside London trying to yeah. get into London. And it's the same with the reggae as well. So like, um, I realised that the reggae artists in, you know, outside of London weren't getting heard of, wasn't getting the opportunities. And like City Link Up, I think it was like I wanted to make myself sort of the gateway mm. again, you know, like to hey up, you know, yeah. it's not just about London. There's some fantastic world class artists outside, yeah. um, outside of London, and they're just not getting the opportunities. They're not getting called in. The London shows, I noticed, like you know, it's the same artists recycled round on the shows, and like you haven't got a chance if you come out. And I really, if you're outside London, I've I noticed that a lot of artists as well were changing genres. Mm. So because I felt that reggae, there was nowhere to take the reggae, there was nowhere to go. So they're going to soul or they're switching genres because, you know, they just felt there's nowhere to take it. So now I think, and I hope believe Britain's got reggae, and it has because I've heard the testimonies. Mm -hmm. It has like done a lot for artists. It's yeah. doing a lot for reggae. You know, it's given artists something to work towards and strive for, and like you know, they're getting a lot of like they're getting a lot of you know people that are going to see them on a bigger platform. That's yeah. fantastic. That's fantastic. So, where if if someone wanted to find out more to get involved, you know, to to uh, do an audition, where would they go? Well, you just pick your nearest city where you'd like to audition. You know, um, you know, I've named the cities. So if you're near any of them cities. You can um, email me three songs, a bio, a good quality photo, and links to social media to Britain's Got Reggae at gmail.com. That's yeah. three songs, a bio, a good quality photo, and links to social media to Britain's Got Reggae at gmail.com. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at BG Reggae. That's so wonderful. at sign BG Reggae. You can email us at Britain's Got Reggae at gmail.com. You know, if you just Google us, you'll find us. Just send a message and someone will get back to you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you're doing a tremendous work. Thank you. you know, um, an ambassador for reggae, I think. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, and more because you've got the you know awards and all sorts of things for your work and well deserved as well. Yeah. Thank you, Sterling, for coming in. Uh, thank you again for having me. BBC Leicester. It's always great to come down. Absolutely welcome. So come back later on in the, in the year and let yeah. us know how things are going. And yeah. no doubt. You know, when you when you get your winner, you know, later yeah. on in the year, do uh, let us know about Yeah, I mean, we've got Pierre should... still, so we're we still working Pierre. with Pierre. Mm -hmm. Pierre's with us till August. He'll be writing some new music and releasing them in the new year, so we're really yeah. excited about that. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Sandra. Superb. Have a good day. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.